All right, first time out in a little boat this year. Had a place I needed to go that I just couldn't get the other one in. So we're taking this one, give her a shot. Stick with me. There we go. Finally pull one out. That'll let it run for a long time. A little one. Real little one. Yeah, you're a little, little, little bitty guy. You're not much bigger than the six inch worm I'm throwing. It's bad enough when they're not much bigger than the 10 inch worm. But when they're not much bigger than the six inch worm, that really gets discouraging. There's bigger ones in here, though. Okay, came out of the water for it. There we go. I hit the bank, and he came up for it. Now I get all the moss. Ah, I'm dragging more weeds than I do fish. bigger well, step in the right direction better bigger than smaller huh well we went from the 10 inch worm to the six inch worm instead of losing half the worm each time so now I caught a couple of fish so maybe that's the answer we'll see it is for now anyway There we go. Found you, didn't I? Huh? Yeah. All right. Not bad fish. Maybe 13 inches long, give or take a bit. Time to put on a new worm. All right. Since I need to change worms, I thought this might be a good time. I always talk about using a weighted hook, one eighth ounce weighted hook but I never really have showed you much what it is. Basically, as you can see, it's got the spring in front, the weight in here. If you haven't used one like that, we just basically take the end of the worm, screw it onto the hook, line it up, bring it in, and then bury the nose of the hook back into the worm. If you notice, I switched over to a paddle tail. We're gonna try that. They've been that uh, ribbon tail. I've been getting a lot of little taps on it. We're going to see if maybe the paddle tail worm will cut a little of that out. Anyway, that's the type of hook I'm using, and that's the type of that's the system I'm using for setting it up. All right, there we got it. There we go. Not a real big one, but maybe a little better than I thought it was going to be, but still not very big. All right. There we go. Didn't even hardly feel that one hit. He was more of just a kind of drag. The boat was moving. There we go. If you will notice, most of these fish. All right, hang on just a second. Turn this around a bit. If you'll notice, most of these fish are all about the same size. This lake was uh, killed off a few years ago, renovated, new fish stocked in. So there's not going to be a bunch of real big fish in here. So 
gonna be in smaller ones but usually the numbers are better and uh, that's why it's kind of fun to fish got a chance of catching a few more Busy moving the boat to know what I was paying attention to fish. I missed my big boat. There we go. That's a little nicer fish. Yeah, that might be the fish of the day right there so far. Ouch. Yeah, yeah, let's watch the hook. There we go. All right, now it's still not a biggie, but for this lake, after reconditioning the lake the way they did, it's okay, we'll take that. There we go. Oh man, that was a little bit better fish. Man, that was a nice fish there. He was down there a ways. Woo. All right, buddy. Hold still. There we got you. There we go. Right down underneath his logs. <clears throat> Let's get that out of there. There we go. All right, nice fish. A lot of stumps and logs right here. Thought I'd work this little area. Found him next to that log over there. But there's more. See if we can find a few more in the other logs around here. There they are. I see it. It's a small bass. Yeah, you leave it alone. I'd say that's what I've been dealing with is tail biters. Real small bass. Eight, ten inches long. Man. A little bigger. Not a little bigger than an eight or ten inch one. Yeah, you're a little bit better. There we go. There we go. Got him out. Uh, a whole pound, pound and a half, pound and a quarter. Back to the ribbon tail worm. Then we just keep swiping around, trying different worms, seeing what works. Seems like about everything will work. Well, guys, I think I'm going to call her good. Got the little two man boat out. Makes me appreciate my big boat. <laughs> a lot more room in the big boat. But I did want to get to this lake. We hadn't been here this year. Bob and I have been talking about it, but now he was out of town for a week. And so I thought, well, who knows when if we're going to get here had to fight a lot of this algae couldn't even cover I don't know over half the lake I couldn't get to just for the real thick algae and decided it wasn't worth it so but I did catch some fish basically it was a warm day and it didn't really seem to make much difference what type of worm you threw I mean I caught them on everything I threw as far as worms are concerned I don't think I've got such a big pile of half worms on my boat as I've ever had there were a lot of tail hitters, and uh, but I think there's a lot of small bass in here. So, hey, maybe in years to come, they'll get a little bigger, and the lake will get a little better. But I think when I'm coming back here the next time, it'll be before the algae gets a chance to get up there again. So, thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to our channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.